Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is find the average of the first hundred positive integers. So how to do this? What is the sum of the first hundred positive integers, or what is the sum of the first n integers? We are having a formula for the sum of first n integers. It will be equal to n into n plus one divided by two. So some of you, those who are not knowing, you can know the formula now. The sum of the first n positive integers, or sum of the first n natural numbers, everything is same, or sum of first n numbers. Whole numbers won't come, natural numbers from one to n. So one to n, the sum of the first n integers is given by n into n plus one divided by two. So you are asked to find out the average. So now let's try to derive a common formula for average of the first n integers. The average of the first n integers. You are having the sum of the first n integers, and average of the first n integers will be given by sum divided by n. So n into n plus one divided by two n, which gives you n plus one by two. So n plus one by two is the formula for average of the first n integers. So what is our question? You are you are asked to find out. The average of the first hundred numbers, first hundred positive integers. So it will be equal to hundred plus one divided by two. Here n is equal to hundred. So hundred plus one by two, which is one not one divided by two, that is equal to fifty point five. Now question number two: Find the average of the squares of first ten natural numbers. So here also first we can derive a general formula. The sum of the squares of first n natural numbers. So you can by heart these formulas. Then next time when it comes, it becomes very easy. The average for first n integers is given as the average for first n integers is given as n plus one by two, as we had seen in the previous question. Now we are going to find out the average for the squares of first n natural numbers. So the sum of the squares of first n natural numbers is given by n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six. So this is the general formula for the sum of the squares of first n natural numbers. N into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six. So the average will be given as n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six n, which gives you n plus one into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Suppose if you don't know this formula, it becomes very difficult. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus up to 10 square divided by 10. That is how you will be finding out the average. So it's better if you by heart these formulas. I uh, at least by heart the formula for sum sum of the first n natural numbers n into n plus 1 by 2. So from there you can easily derive the formula for average. So here also the sum of the squares of first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus one into two n plus one divided by six. So the average will be given by n plus one into two n plus one divided by six. So here average of ten numbers, uh, squares of the ten first ten natural numbers is asked. So n is equal to ten. So it will be given by ten plus one into two into ten plus one divided by six or eleven into twenty one divided by six. Which gives you seventy-seven divided by two, which is equal to thirty-eight point five. So here this seven and two, so seventy-seven divided by two, which gives you thirty-eight point five. Question number three: Find the average of odd numbers up to hundred. So sum of odd numbers up to n. So that is what first you have to find out. We are going to derive a general formula. The sum of odd numbers up to n will be given as What is the formula? How you can find out? 2a plus n minus 1 into d. An arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression means the difference between the numbers will be constant. So odd numbers means 1, 3, 5, up to 99. If suppose you are taking up to n, up to n, up to n when you are taking means the difference between the consecutive numbers is constant. 2 is the difference between the consecutive numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7. It goes on. So it can be said as an arithmetic progression. An arithmetic progression is a series in which the difference between the consecutive numbers remains constant. The sum of odd numbers up to n will be given as 2a plus n minus 1 into d, 
where a is representing the first number and n is representing up to n or the total number that is n odd numbers up to n no uh, first n odd numbers okay up to n no sum of n odd numbers sum of n odd numbers will be given as 2a plus n minus 1 into d so here the total number is n so n is the total number and d is the difference the constant difference the sum of n odd numbers will be given as 2 into 1 1 is the first odd number plus n minus 1 into 2 which gives you 2 plus 2 n minus 2 uh, sorry sorry my formula is incomplete 2a plus n minus 1 into d into n by 2 even n by 2 is also there I'm extremely sorry so n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 1 into d is the formula for sum of n odd numbers so a is the first odd number that is 1 and n is the total number of odd numbers and d is the difference or the constant difference the constant difference is 2 so 2 into 1 into n minus 1 into 2 into n by 2 so here also an n by 2 will come so finally what is your answer 2n into n by 2 which gives you n square so n square is the sum of n odd numbers so what is the average of n odd numbers so average of n odd numbers will be equal to n square divided by 2 so that is the general formula now you can apply it here here what is the question n square divided by n sorry the average of n odd numbers is equal to n square divided by n which gives you n so the average of n odd numbers is equal to n similarly the average of n even numbers will be equal to n now up to 100 how many odd numbers are there it should be consecutive odd numbers we are talking about consecutive odd numbers the first 10 odd numbers or the first 20 the average of first 10 odd numbers will be equal to 10 the average of first 20 even numbers will be equal to 20 so this is a very interesting observation so once you study this even without taking your pen you can find out the answer find the average of first 10 odd numbers it is equal to 10 and what is the average of first 30 even numbers it is equal to 30 so here what is the question find the average of odd numbers up to 100 up to 100 how many odd numbers are there there are 50 odd numbers 50 odd numbers and 50 even numbers so there are 50 odd numbers up to 100 so the average of 50 odd numbers will be equal to 50 so our required answer is 50 so how we derive sum of n odd numbers will be equal to n square so from there you will be getting average is equal to n square by n is equal to n the consecutive the consecutive n odd numbers now one more question of the same kind find the average of the first 10 whole numbers so what is the average of first 10 whole numbers for whole numbers we are not having any formula we are having only formulas for natural numbers the first n natural numbers means the sum is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 but for whole numbers we are not having so how we can find out the average of 10 whole numbers means the meaning is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus up to 9 divided by 10 the total sum divided by the number total sum divided by total number will be giving you the average so it will be equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus up to 9 divided by 10 so 0 is not having any value so you have to find out the sum from 1 to 9 so what is the sum from 1 to 9 there you can apply the formula for the sum of first n natural numbers the sum of first n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so here it is actually the sum up to 9 1 plus 2 plus up to 9 which gives you 9 into 9 plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 10 so that will give you the average so 9 into 10 divided by 20 which gives you 9 by 2 is equal to 4.5 thank you for watching